Hey guys, Boone Down South here. Welcome to my channel. If you would, give me a like and subscribe. Today we're going to show you a little project, a little uh, do-it-yourself how-to project. First of all, um, I bought these Cast King lure protectors uh, some time ago, last year. And I've been using them. I love these things. They're fantastic. So I highly recommend these things. But I, was, I needed some more. And so I was talking that I needed some more. And my daughter, who's very crafty, has her own channel, Crafters Autonomous. You can check it out. But um, she's like, oh, we can make that, Dad. I got stuff to make that with. So that's what we did. So we made this one right here. Made another one. I wanted to make some for a little smaller. So uh, this just kind of augments my cast king. So basically, if you want to go buy these cast kings, they're fantastic. I love them. I'll give you a link on Amazon. You can go check them out. They're like three or four for like $15. If you want to do it yourself and make some, I wanted to make some smaller sizes for me. Then uh, we're going to show you how we did that today out of just stuff I had later on the house. So a quick and easy project if you want to spend time on it. So... Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and we'll uh, let you see what we're doing here. So basically, you don't need a lot of materials for this. Here's the original cast king. And basically what we're looking at is some Velcro, we're looking at some heavy duty plastic, and we're looking at a glue gun over here, okay? Now, this plastic, this isn't just a Ziploc bag type stuff, you need a heavier plastic. Basically, here's the deal. You got all these bags, right, that my wife collects. Like when you buy sheets, pillowcases, blanket covers, quilts, they all come in these zippered plastic bags. And so since she's been holding on to these for so long, these are much thicker plastic. So basically we uh, got the thickest one and we chopped it to pieces. So we've already got it cut to size here. And the cast king, which is uh, I think the size of that when it's open is nine by eight. So when it's folded like it is now, it's four and a half by eight inches roughly, okay? We made this one a little smaller. I did uh, an eight by seven, so it'll be four by seven roughly when it's done. Um, I find the Cast King, uh, I've got three of these already, and they work really, really well. And I wanted a little bit smaller of a lure protector, lure cover. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to put this together real quick and show you what that looks like. You know, this is what I had on hand here at the house, this Velcro. And it was actually a wider strip, so we just cut it down that way to cut it. So here's all our pieces, and my daughter's going to do the little glue up here, and we'll show you what that looks like. So what we found works best is if you just do long runs of the hot glue back and forth, you want to make sure you get enough coverage and then we're going to work quickly because the hot glue will cool pretty fast. So we're just going to do some long strips of the hot glue and then quickly press our Velcro onto it. Since this is clear, we can look from the back side to make sure our glue is a good strong bond. We got enough glue everywhere. We may need to come back in some of the corners and put more glue in, but pretty straightforward. I'm working with the fuzzy side up on this right half of the bag, and then we'll have the, you know, the scratchier part face up on the other side of the bag. So I'm just working on the top, going to go down the side, and then I'll put my bottom piece on. And also be careful that you don't melt your plastic with the tip of the hot glue gun if you're going with the hot glue method. It's going to go right here along the bottom. And they're just going to repeat on the opposite side. So we've got our pieces glued onto this one. One really important thing is you want to make sure your ends are really secure. So like this one, see I can pop back. If, it, if your ends are like that, you just want to put a little bit of glue along there and press it down to make sure your ends stay really secure. And also if you have any sections, like along here where I don't have as much glue along that outer edge, we can just run the hot glue gun through there. Or if you're using super glue, same idea. Okay, so now we've, we've got this thing here. So I'm just gonna trim this up because it does. we don't really need that thick of stuff. And you know how some of the edges don't line up for good. So we're just gonna do a trim and shorten this down. And uh, I'm just eyeballing it here, so not rocket science, but these will make good lure covers, which is really awesome. Because one can never have too many lure covers. Now, I will say one thing I'm going to do that I think is a little bit of improvement on the cast king 
is I'm just going to make an attempt to round the corner a little bit just so it doesn't catch as much on stuff. There we go. There you have it, guys. Boom. Booyah. There we go. We got it. All right. I wanted a little bit smaller one for some of my smaller lures that I use. So awesome. All right. Now, there you have it, guys. Pretty cheap, easy to do. Spare parts from around the house, old bags, some Velcro I had left over for some projects. And there you have it. Cheap and easy.